How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're playing some Halo 5. What I want to do today is show you what's inside the brand new promotional rec pack for the holiday season for Halo 5. And I'm going to talk about, show you some Castle Wars gameplay and talk about the HCS preview that was recently shown in Halo 5. So we got a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. Here's the first thing, the holiday pack, the promotional rec pack. Let's see what we got here. It, we got the Clippy. Oh my God, that's probably the most annoying emblem you could possibly put on your character because Nobody liked the clip art dude from Word, Microsoft Word back in like the 90s. Hey look, it's the Microsoft Paperclip here and it looks like you need some help writing because you didn't pay attention in school. Huh? My God. And then we got pigs fly. So if you want to look like a piggy, there you go. And some random stuff. So that's what was in my uh, little uh, boost there. So without further ado, let's just jump into some social, jump into some castle wars and let's get into it. Alright guys, looks like we got into a match here, so in case you don't know what Castle Wars is, it's a capture the flag map style, game mode style here. And we have a lot of players in this, we actually have, have that many players in this match right now. I think it's kind of like a big team battle amount of players, so it's going to be nuts. Plaza grenades everywhere, people are going crazy, people dying in all of the best ways possible. Get slice! Basically, yeah, you're gonna just play for three captures and first team to three captures with. Now you think, might think with this many people on the map, it might kind of be kind of tricky to actually get a capture. Well, in that case, it actually is right there. <laughs> but the way you gotta do it is uh, there are some power-ups you can pick up. I know there's like a Prophet's Bane that spawns up in the middle. Everyone gets like some plasma nades or get some vehicles. You can see this guy, that's a freaking crazy freaking turret up there. It's <laughs> just raining the hellfire down on us. So, people actually do end up winning. How do they have two? Oh my god. Okay, well. Hopefully we can get past this nonsense right here. And see if we can get, try to get at least a few kills. Or Teammate, you nearly sabotaged me right there. Oh my gosh. This is just absurd. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So in case you haven't played Castle Wars, it's a lot of fun. I suggest giving it a go while it's still around here. It should be around for at least another week or something like that. And, you know, because 343 always likes to rotate their playlists around. This guy's moving over to the left. He thinks he's super slick about this. He's not. I win! Damn it! Oh, jeez, they're coming in with the Warhog. Oh, man. Come on. No! We can't allow it to continue! Get back over here! Come back here. Yes. Okay, so what I want to talk about mainly in this video here is the uh, recent HCS preview. If you guys haven't seen that, I suggest checking it out. Go over to the Halo YouTube channel and you will get the chance to see the awesomeness that's coming our way for Halo and the competitive scene, which is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy to see like something like this come up. We got Halo recently got teamed back up with MLG, even though like Halo, Halo 3 especially was like was one of the founding games that kind of like brought MLG to the forefront really of kind of, of just gaming in general. This guy's trying to shoot at me. He's invisible. How am I supposed to hit him? He's hitting me though. But um, so the so Halo's got teamed up with MLG which is absolutely fantastic. The amount of resources that MLG has is way more I would say than ESL just from my experience and plus they have a lot bigger games on uh, MLG. And there's gonna be a there's like major tournaments going around the world, and I just blew up. That's great. But there's, there's gonna be major tournaments going around the world. Uh, I think there's about two in the U.S., one in Australia, one in Europe, and the one in Mexico as well. And essentially, they're gonna try to see you know who is the best team in the world, which is freaking awesome. The main thing I'm really excited about this whole thing, though, I didn't know there was an upper platform up there. Anyways, though, the main thing I'm super excited about this about this uh, plan for MLG and Halo is that it's planned. Like, it was announced, we all know about it now, and I'm super excited for it. And the finals are taking place in Seattle. This guy has our freaking flag, I can't let this happen. Which is absolutely amazing. If you guys don't know, I live over here in Seattle. So the fact that the Halo 5 Championships will be happening in Seattle. You best believe I'm going to be there. Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, it's in April. I am so excited for it. I will 100% be there. It's going to get me back into watching 
Halo competitive because I kind of lost track with it after uh, the HCS for the MCC. Uh, mainly just because like it wasn't really announced. Uh, you know, 343 and Microsoft didn't really do that great of a job of public publicizing the uh, events. Oh my gosh, I was just a fail. And so, since I didn't really know exactly what events were coming out, I didn't really know like what events were like the major ones to keep an eye on, you know. And I just kind of lost track with the series as, as a whole. I love watching competitive Halo. It's my favorite competitive game to watch online. Mainly just because I, you know, played Halo so much, I know a little bit of the ins and outs when it comes to playing this game. Uh, just for, from playing since you know CE. <laughs> But um, now that they have a roadmap, I know which tournaments to look forward to, I know where this is all ending up in, it gets me excited to know exactly, you know, when I should w start watching some a competitive Halo, what these events are leading up towards, and how important it is to the, uh, to the franchise as a whole. I think it's amazing. I'm really glad that at the 343 and Microsoft went ahead and went through with forward with something like this. Oh! I got you, buddy. It's the 12th through the 15th. I'm going to definitely get to see if we're getting tickets for the 15th for the finals because I'm just going to be so damn happy sitting there, like, watching some competitive Halo. I've never done, been to a competitive uh, game live. And so I would just be super excited to be around all these different people who are that much of a ha fan of Halo as me. And I'll probably want to be one of the older people there, but, you know, screw it. I love the game. It's all definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna be there for sure. So if you guys ever are in Seattle and you wanna check and wanna say hi to me, that'd be the, uh, well, the perfect opportunity to do that, I would say. So hopefully we'd all see you guys there. You know, don't plan your trips anytime soon right now because I don't have my tickets yet, but just saying. Oh my God, that's not how you do it. <laughs> One thing, of course, since it is YouTube, we have a comment section for a reason. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited for the recent plans for the competitive scene of Halo? Do you guys really care about competitive Halo? Or do you just kind of like playing the game for what it is? Or do you even play the game? Oh, let's just let me know in the comment section. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. All right, guys, big, big news. So focus, focus. So I recently posted up a video of me with a brand new song I posted up. It's called uh, Oh Christmas New parody song of the song, classic Christmas song, Oh Christmas Tree. So it's a uh, song about the new Christmas news for Destiny 2. And so if you guys don't know how to check it out, please do it. The link should be like, it should look like, the thumbnail should look like that up there. And you please, please, please go check this out because I'm really trying hard to get this video promoted and see if I can get this on Bungie's weekly thread of um, movie of the week. And that would be absolutely amazing. Any support in that video would be my Christmas, would be a Christmas gift of the year for me. And just to be able to get a chance to be on movie of the week for their weekly updates would be absolutely amazing. So if you go to that video, please, please, please check out the description. If there's a link on that one, go check out the link. It should take you to the Bungie page where you can start it, get some more notifications, get some more notoriety for the video. And I would really do appreciate it. And if there's no link for the Bungie.net thing, then just get, you know, get the like video a like and a comment. You know, it really helps out the video get noticed. And I really, really would appreciate the, the, the uh, support guys because you know, it took a lot Took a lot of time in that video. I'm I'm very happy for, with it, and, and I've heard some really good reviews from people who checked it out. And so please go check it out. I know it's Destiny 2, but trust me, it's a good video. Oh my God, this is insane. Okay, okay, just like Michael Bay explosions left and right. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> everyone's just dying. Oh, like me. And also just uh, want to talk about just the channel as of recently, uh, we've been getting so much support, it's amazing what I've been receiving right now. Um, just I know there's a lot of new subscribers to the channel right now that maybe probably more here for Destiny 2 rather than anything else. I mean, I've gained quite a few subscribers because I did post a video of one of the new weapon, Forge weapons in Destiny 2 and that was one of the first people to get a video on there. So I got one of my highest viewed videos in a long time which is amazing thank you so much for the support everybody how the heck did i die right there thank you so much for the support it's been great uh we have gained look at my stats right here 20, we've gained a net value of 28 subscribers so that's pretty good for me uh for a month worth of uh video making so thank you so much for all the support guys i really appreciate everyone taking the time to check out a video it means it means a lot to me that i can you know knowing that i can at least give you guys some form of entertainment i'm, I'm taking guys out with these guys oh my gosh 
No, oh, get that double kill going. Can we get a triple? Can we triple it up? Yes! So I definitely would like to bring up just like probably have future plans for the channel right now. Uh, generally, if anyone's here, it's a new ch channel or been only subscribed for maybe less than a year. Uh, I like generally at the end of the year, what I like to do is do kind of like a year in review kind of video. Uh, just talking about uh, how the year has gone and um, you know, highlights of different videos, some of the best videos I've done for the year, the most viewed kind of stuff, and just the best experiences I've had for that year because it's been a good year. 2017, though, real life, it's been pretty shaky, but on YouTube, it's actually been doing all right for me. I tried reviving the channel a little bit here and uh, moving forward, and it's uh, it's been really great. Uh, I will get back into doing live streams for sure for you guys. Uh, you know, it's just the holiday season coming around. Yeah, it's just that, uh, you know, family comes first, man. Oh my god, an entire army of red people just want me dead. Ah, there we go, we got one. I always find it weird that you can just, like, you can zoom in with a sword. Like, why? Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh! Well, fall back. Don't slash me! Oh my gosh. This is the fun. This is what makes Castle War so funny. It's just it can just be absolutely insane like that. It's just crazy. Oh my god, are they piling up on that war? No, they stuck me. I was like, are they going freaking like Mad Max style with this warhog here? Okay, let's, I'm gonna see if we can jump on our friends here, uh, mongers here. Come back here, buddy. Come back here. Let me let me hop on with you. I, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help here. Okay, let's go. We can do this. Just kind of, you know, just gonna wedge your way through there. There you go. You got this, buddy. Uh, oh my god, they're coming in with their own situation, and yeah, that didn't work out at all. Oh my gosh, sorry team, I didn't mean to smack you there. Yeah, right. Oh, maybe I will this time, I don't know. Ah. Okay, I'm just gonna move there, dude. We're going in, we're going in, we're going for the flag, here we go. No! Maybe not. Anyways. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about the topic it's, and brought up in the video as well. I do read all, like I said earlier, I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your support. Check out the Oh Christmas Noobs video I made. Right up in there, the video looks like that. I really did appreciate it. And so thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.